It's gonna get crazy, baby. And still! Yeah, yeah, sure. Tomorrow you're going down! Sunday, Sunday, Saturday, baby, you're going down! Still! You're going down! Still! You're going down! And still! And still! And still! And still! That's enough. That'll do. You. you must have got a shot. You get it. Horrible looking. Look at your little brother. Look at that. Rack. Rack. See your face, eh? Rack. I'm going to fix your face. I'm going to fix your face. You're a rack. I'm going to fix your face. The rat's going to beat you. You're going to get smashed. Ooh, cookie monster. Ooh. Smashed. You'll be going to do one of them comas and a wee aeroplane. Don't be fucked. There you go. <laughs> as well one of the most talented it's a pleasure and honor for me to introduce to you the former three weight three weight division world champion adrian broner um i want to thank god um, I want to thank um, Golden Boy, Floyd Mayweather Promotions, um, and um, I'm just coming to fight. You know, I'm I'm humbled. I don't trash talk no more, and you know, I'm just giving you guys what you want to see out of me. Get the hell out of here! Hey, what's up? <laughs> if if y'all thought a loss was gonna humble me or Put me in my place, but then y'all can just show that right up y'all ass, man. And now both fighters are drawing at each other in a friendly way for Wiki Ripe, and A actually puts his hands on Bernard Hopkins. Hopkins goes back at right, and we have a bit of a fracas at the weigh-in. That looked completely natural and organic. Marvin, your thoughts? I knew that was going to happen. I could see it in Bernard's actions. You know, at the he news, wants, he I, wants to try to sell this fight. He don't have to sell a fight. Ricky said don't have to sell it, but now somebody's really going to be mad. Comes tomorrow night. The guys who talk a lot, they chumps. That's why I'm not going to talk. He can talk all his sponsorship, Twitter, all that. That ain't going to help you on April 20th. All right? You can talk all that you want. The only reason this dude is winning fights is because he's big. Shrink him down to six two, six three, six four. He's garbage. This dude right here is just winning fights because he's big. He's big. He leans on guys. He gets them tired. I don't get tired. I get better. You understand? Not only am I You're big. You're gonna catch this, homie. I'm tall, dark, handsome, cool, calm, collective, super sexy. This guy has got no chance at all. Yeah. Let's talk about talent, size, whatever you wanna be. I'm the best fighter on the planet, including all weights, because there's not a man born from his mother can beat Tyson Fury. I don't care if he's seven foot or three foot tall. Listen, Steve Cunningham's in big trouble. Come April 20th, this guy's getting knocked spark out. Guaranteed, 100%. I hope him and his trainer believe in magic because he's going to need a lot of magic to beat Tyson Fury. Steve Cunningham, the whole of Philadelphia behind him, and every man in it couldn't beat me together. Never mind him on his own. There's not a man 200 pounds on the planet can beat me. Never mind you. And I ain't coming here to play games and talk nonsense. I'm here to fight. And I hope you're here to fight too. You, you talk a good game. I'm from Philly. I'm a tough guy, gangster. But let's have it real, yeah? I'm a fighting man. Fighting's in my veins, blood, background, everything. From every 
man in my breed, seed and generation can fight. Let's go back in yours and see if yours can. I doubt it. Maybe you're a one-off, right? But listen, you're not a heavyweight for one, and I am. You are in trouble. And I mean business, and I'm going to hurt you seriously come April 20th. I hope you understand that. I hope your trainer understands that. I hope your wife understands that. I hope everybody understands it. Because I mean business. Mr. Fury. I didn't come to the USA Mr. to play Fury. around and play tip tap boxing. I came here to do demolition jobs I, I on heard cruiserweights. You. I heard you, Mr. Fury. Yes, if I understood it.